am going to get my kids, but I thought I'd jump on and say hello. I've done a bunch of ride-alongs lately and haven't put them together or uploaded them or anything, so I need to go through and, and do that. Also, like I'm really good about starting the day off, but then I never close it out and say, okay, this is, it's been this day, see you later. Um, so, in case I don't, later, this is it, see you later. <laughs> Alright, so, note what I'm wearing. It's a little wobbly, isn't it? It is, like, November in the teens, anyway. Gosh, that's wobbling, isn't it? Let me see if I can lock that down. To make it not so wobbly. So yeah, it's November, I don't know what day it is, November 15th, let's say. It's in the teens. And it's 86 degrees. This is a bit much. Normally it's it started cooling off by now. Normally we're good. The lighting's horrible, but okay. But yeah, no. I guess, you know, the Houston area has given up on fall. You can usually count on it to happen around Halloween. It starts cooling off. No. I mean, I guess it's cooler. But. Still. I think this weekend, maybe it's supposed to come down into the 60s, finally. Anyway. Going to get the kids. From school. I may have said this before. But it's another ride along. Starting of another ride along. We'll see if I make it through the day. It's 9.30 in the morning, Friday. And the day is already looking like bananas. But that's, you know what? That's, that's life. Um, if you could see over here, I've got a, boy. Well, I can show you. I've got a bag. We're heading to the post office to drop off some packages. And then I've got this box. I'll shake it for you. Can you hear it? It's Legos box of Legos which I'm taking to my son's class because they have a steam lab which is the like science technology engineering blah 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 math whatever arts and math whatever but they're asking for you know Legos and things like that to put in there for the kids to, to work their scientific magic with so right this morning got up Got the kids off to school. And we, Randy and I went to a garage sale in which we picked up some good stuff. Spent $35, but it's there's rain forecasted for today. So I'm not sure, you know, we didn't really find anything else. So I got these Legos there. It was 10 bucks for a bin, you know, a good size box of Legos. Um, and my son's teacher had been asking for Legos, so I was like, okay, I'll get those. Now, I did cherry pick. <laughs> Hang on, you're shaking again. Let me see if I can tighten that up. Um, I did go through and pull out, I'm trying to fix you, here. Hang on. I did go through and pull out, like, the minifigs and the guns. Well, one, because, you know, they don't want guns at school. And two, minifigs because... I was a teacher and I know what happens with the minifigs. The kids just fight about them and then they take them home. So <laughs> I am going to just sell them because they're Star Wars ones. They're Star Wars minifigs. So there were a few pieces that I kind of cherry picked out. Um, but it's still a huge, I mean, I can show you in a second. It's a huge thing of Lego. Uh, so those are going up to the school today. I got my packages ready. What else? I've got to go get some birthday presents. My my nephew, Winter, his birthday is tomorrow. I cannot go because they, they live about six hours away. My sister really wanted us to come out, but we would have to leave tomorrow morning because if we left after school, it would be like 9 o'clock before we got there. 
Yes, still in Texas. <laughs> it's in the middle of Texas, you know, so it's not even all the way across. So, right, six hours to get there, and then we, we would have to turn around and come back Sunday. And Randy wouldn't be able to come because he's working like a madman. <clears throat> so, I've got to go get a present for him to send with my parents. Oh gosh, how am I going to make that happen? I don't know. Um, to send with them because they're leaving. This is how my day is going. In about half an hour, I'm going to be meeting my mom and dad up at the neurologist office um, for her appointment. And then they're leaving straight from there to go to my sister's place. So I've got like 20 minutes to drop these packages off. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to just send him a belated birthday present, I guess. Cause there's no way I'm gonna have time to go get him a present, get to the doctor's office, give it to my parents before they leave. Cause they are going, they're leaving today. Ugh. Right? And then after the doctor's appointment, I'm going up to the school to do my volunteering. And then, what else? I guess I'll be going to get presents after that because I can't go before. And then I have a sales video I need to do because I haven't been doing my videos like I'm supposed to. Not like I'm supposed to, but like I, like I do. All right, let me get these packages into this post office and then I'll be back. I got mail. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, I got my play box from Sephora and I also got my Ipsy, which I realize I have recorded my last ones, my unboxings, but I haven't uploaded them yet. So I'm a little behind. And then I also got a munch pack and I got some friend mail from Devon. I know someone who lives in Devon. Caroline lives in Devon, doesn't she? Let's see, but I don't know if this is from Caroline. We're about to find out. Hopefully, somebody sent me stuff from far, far away. <clears throat> oh, this is not, this is from Joe Chessman. Chessman? Freckles247. Dear, I'm gonna probably have to do an unboxing later too. Dear Margaret, Randy, and the boys, greetings from the UK. I have watched your Munch Pack unboxings on YouTube, which make me laugh so much at both of your re reactions. Margaret, you're such a wimp, lol. I thought you would, I would send you some of our UK European candy. We call them sweets for you to try. I would have handwritten this, but you probably wouldn't have been able to read it. Have a great Christmas. Hope you enjoy and mind your teeth on the chewy ones. Best wishes. <laughs> Let's see what he sent because we'll have to do an unboxing, unboxing later. Oh boy. Let's see. We got some star mix. Some dip dab. Okay. Wham with sour crystals. Uh giant stripes. This oh this looks fun. Chewy extreme. <laughs> chew wait, chew it's extreme. And then more. Oh dear, what is this? Sherbet fountain. What is sherbet fountain? Ooh. Uh, giant love hearts. These are called refreshers. I wonder if these have a gooey center. Is that why they're they're in there? Fruit jellies and fruit pastilles. Okay. I'm gonna say just off the bat. One, thank you. Two, I'm super nervous about eating food that people send me that I don't know who they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in real life. You know, I know you from YouTube. But, you know, we'll see. The la Somebody else sent me some stuff, too, and I was so nervous. Randy ate it. You know, he's like, I don't, I'm eating it. <laughs> I don't know what. I'm just nervous. But, I, you know what? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and then let's take a look at the Ipsy. Just because I'm, I have nothing but... Ooh. Look at the bag. It's all, like, celestial, like... Uh, constellations ipsy rock starlet I'm gonna peek inside okay I'm gonna just say to you I went yesterday and was canceling a lot of my subscription boxes because I get geek fuel I get the firefly one from loot crate which I have two I haven't shown you yet and I have a geek fuel I haven't shown you yet oh my gosh so um, 
I canceled my Geek Fuel. I was getting three of the Firefly every month because one to keep and two to sell because they're a hot commodity. Um, and then, but now they put out a Harry Potter one, y'all. So you know I got the Harry Potter one. So I went through and I, I knocked down two of the Firefly. So now I'm getting the Harry Potter, which hasn't come yet, the Firefly, and that's it. No more Geek Fuel, no extra Fireflies. And then I went to knock off my subscription for Ipsy and for Sephora, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just love it. I love getting them. And then Munchpack, you know, they send me because... <clears throat> they do. Munchpack sends me the box every month for us to create a video. So we don't pay for that. We pay with our time and our taste buds. <coughs> oh, but I'm so excited about these other snacks. And so will Randy be. I, I wonder if they're sour ones, because you know they make me cry, the sour ones. Okay, here's the deal now. Do I go to my parents' house? I think I'll go to my parents' house. Maybe, I'm such a bad aunt. I should have sent him a birthday card in the mail. I get so busy, you guys, and then I feel so guilty. And this thing is bouncing, isn't it? I've got to figure it out. It's better than over there, I guess, except for now you're probably going to get, like, bounced all over the place. There's got to be a way to make it not so bouncy. Isn't there? There must be. It must have a stabilizer or something. Okay. What were we saying? I'm seeing if it's bouncing. It doesn't look all right, so thanks for the friend mail. I'm excited about those delicious treats from faraway lands, <laughs> from sunny, sunny England. <laughs> Yesterday, Thursday's generally the day I'm with my mom most of the day. And so she and I, you know, had to take care of stuff. I'm gonna talk to you while I try to tighten this thing up. Um, yeah, she and I just did what, you know, because she doesn't get out of the house right now because she's not driving, unless I'm driving her. Um, so we took, you know, we went to had lunch, had lunch, went to had lunch, went to, we went to have lunch, and then she had a doctor's appointment. We were there for a long time, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so it's just been really busy. I, I, Okay, here's the deal. I had a breaking point this week. I did. I'm just going to be straight out with you. I try to do everything. You know, I really do. And I'm really hard on myself when I can't accomplish everything. And so, my house right now, I mean, I know Randy says I'm over overly uh, critical of my own self. But I'm, I guess, minimal. I like things minimalist. So when there's clutter or piles and things, it just makes me crazy. Um, and right now, and most of the time, we have that. And I normally just not, I don't see it. I try not to see it. <clears throat> but couldn't help it. I just kind of lost it. I'm like, Brandy, I can't, I can't do it all. Boys. But, but then it's like, during the day when I have those few four or five hours on the days that I'm home to get anything done, I don't clean. That's not, that's not what I'm home for. <laughs> so then when it's time for the kids to be home, you know, we've got homework and we've got swimming or scouts or, you know, we're here and there and everywhere and then it's bedtime. And then the house cleaning stuff just doesn't happen. So, I don't know. So I just kind of had a little mini meltdown this week, which I think has to happen sometimes. I did, I was telling my mom, you know, I had a bit of a meltdown, a bit of a mini breakdown, and just was like, I can't, I just can't do it. I, I can't do it all. And I felt better after. I did. The house is still a nightmare mess, but we have a plan. As long as we have a plan, right? Um, Randy works from home today, so he's going to help out some. When I'm home, when I'm finally home at some point. Um, but we're going to be clearing out more, you know. We just have so much stuff, you know. And if you've, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know, you know we have a lot of my grandmother's stuff too. 
So we've got like double stuff on everything. So it's just time. We, we just need to go through. And we, you know, I think we finally, I hate to say this out loud, I think we finally conquered Ringworm. Uh, but I have got like six garbage bags full of stuffed animals and pillows and blankets that, you know, washed. And then I just said, I'm not washing everything in this house again. They're going into bags until all this stuff is done. So now Randy's like, we haven't been using these for how long? Do we still need them? But the problem is some of them are, you know, the boys' favorite stuffed animals or blankets. I've made them. We've just been using other blankets. So we just have to go through and decide what we're keeping, what we're tossing. I wonder if my parents are still home. Oh, garage sale, but I can't. Stay focused, Margaret. I must stay focused. That's weird. Um, I wonder if my parents have left already. I'm going to their house and I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna see. And I'm gonna get a Diet Dr. Pepper because my dad keeps them in the fridge in the garage. So even if they're gone, I'm gonna get that soda. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that soda. I didn't have one yesterday, did I? Okay, let's see. Here we are at my parents' house. We are gonna go and see what they got. You wanna come? Why don't you come with me? I won't know until I see inside the garage. I don't I can't turn you around, can I? You can see the grapefruit tree. Grapefruits. Here we go. I'll turn it around. This is my parents, my dad's yard. There's a big bush there you can't see. They they have an acre, which is nice. And lots of citrus trees. Have they gone? They have gone. I'm getting a soda now. Aha. I don't know which office it's in though. They left me. They know why. I know why. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm really just bouncing you all over the place. Okay. Maybe I'll just voice over this part. Here's why. <sighs> they know. I just want to be there. I want to know what they're saying to the doctor. What they're... Is that bad? My... I love my parents very much. But my dad downplays everything. You know, everything. Nothing is ever as serious as it could, as it is, I think, you know, <laughs> or is that, you know what I mean? I don't know, but they didn't tell me they were leaving. Right before the trip too, they, <laughs> maybe this is more about me than it says about them, but they didn't tell me, like all of a sudden, the, about the week before they left for Italy, my mom wasn't having me take her to appointments anymore. Um, my dad was taking her. Hang on. Little beep for you. Um, so, come to find out, like, a day or two before they left, my mom calls me and tells me why. Well, one of her doctors was concerned about her blood because she was having some weird blood work come back. So she was sent to an oncologist. And I don't know why. I mean, maybe I make a fuss. I don't know. But I'm there, you know, I'm, I'm trying to help, trying to take care. <laughs> and she didn't want me to, I guess she says worry, unless there was something that needed to be. Anyway, so there was that. And then there was like a, she had had a lump. But it turned out to be nothing. But the oncologist thing is some, he thinks she's going to have to go get blood work done every month for, I don't know, a year, whatever. Because he says, he thinks that she's got this, like, mild form of leukemia that, they don't even treat it, really, but they just are going to keep an eye on it.
but she didn't tell me that all this was going down. So maybe it says more about me. <laughs> I'm a worrier. I'm a worrier. You know, it's my mom. So yeah, they have made off to the doctor's appointment. I know where the office is. I just have to make sure I know which building it's in. And if I can park and get in there. <laughs> they knew I was coming too. They knew I, they knew I was going to be there. Oh well. I'll just meet them at the office. <sighs> Parents. You know? You know? They don't watch my videos. Well, my mom says she watches, but she doesn't listen. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, Jason T. Smith just tagged you in a post to the International League of Thrifters. This is either good or bad. My friend Jason. He was messaging me this morning. I realize I mute my conversations in the night because my friends, I'm in a chat with a number of friends that are in the UK. And we chat, all, you know, all day, all the time. But for me in the middle of the night is when they're all starting to say good morning. So like two in the morning, I start, you know, getting a ding, ba ding, ba ding, where they're all like, hello, good morning, good morning. So I have to mute everything. Um, and I just mute, you know, most of my chats of people that chat with me. <laughs> and sometimes I forget to turn them back on, but I saw that he messaged me this morning. I responded back and then I forgot to look back again. And then I forgot to turn my chats back on. But you know, sometimes I, I leave them off because it's, I love my friends, but sometimes it's a distraction, <laughs> but I need to know if something's going on. So message me, Caroline, <laughs> send me a private message. I won't mute you. <clears throat> oh, parents. I've got like, look at this thing. I hope it's not bouncing too much for you guys. It's hard for me to tell. It looks like it's bouncing. We're going to have to find a happy medium if this thing is bouncing. I got the mount. It says it was supposed to like make it not be bouncy. But maybe I don't have it in there right. Maybe I am. Maybe it's user error. Okay, here's the question. Do I valet? Do I valet park? It's free valet at this complex. But my car's a mess and I've got all these packages and Legos and they're not gonna mess with it, are they? You just never know. You just never, never know. Oh, one time I valeted at a restaurant. This was back in college or just after college. And I had enough money for the valet in my console, you know, in the car where you put your change. So I was like, okay, I figured out, like, I got enough money there to pay for the valet and to pay for the tip. I came back out. They brought me my car. I reached into the console to get the money to pay them, and it was gone. And I was like, what the beep? How can I pay you now? Because it was like, I, all I had was my bank card to pay at the, you know, restaurant where we my friends were eating. You know, and of course, they were like, oh, no, we didn't take the money. No, no. Like, well, I tell you what, that's that's how I was planning on paying you. The restaurant was not happy with them. No, they were not. But it was a, I guess, a company. Oh, boy. You know how it is at hospital complexes. There's never anywhere to park. Do I go ahead and valet? What if he eats my tasty treats? I don't know what to do. Should I park? Or should I not? I don't see any spots. Hmm. There's a spot. But I bet when I get there, it's going to be gone. Maybe it's not a spot. Let me in. Okay, you go. I'm going. Go, 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 go. I want this spot. Yes. Hallelujah. I got a, a spot. Yes. Yeah. 
office with me. Okay. I think I've got it where it's not going to wiggle as bad. We'll see. We are done with the neurologist. Thank goodness I was there. <laughs> One, I get to the medical complex where we're at. My mom and dad were in the wrong building. She called me as I was pulling up after I turned off with you. I was like, okay, I can't find the doctor's office. So, she didn't have the card with her either. And they were in the wrong building. They were in the right building, but had the wrong number? I don't know. Anyway, I found the number. Finally, we found the place. <laughs> it only took three of us. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, that's much better. It's not wiggling as much. Um, well, I spoke too soon. And we talked to the neurologist about my dad downplaying stuff, you know, and, okay, you let me go. Okay. Um, and explain, you know, like had the, I, I, you know, explained to my dad and my mom, like, I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I'm not trying to, no, it is bouncing, son of a mother. You know, I'm not trying to get you in trouble, mom. I'm not trying to rat you out, you know. And then the doctor also explained, you know, hey, don't downplay these little episodes because it's, you know, something we can fix with medication. So, but if you downplay it and we don't know about it, then things can progress and get worse. Right? So, I finally explained to my, because she just, she wants to drive again, you know, which I totally understand. But, I explained to her, if you keep downplaying the really you know small things that might snowball into a big thing and then you won't have to worry about me driving you you'll be worried about me feeding you you know <laughs> like let's take care of this perspective here <clears throat> so yeah that uh, that was cool but the doctor did give her the okay to start driving it is wiggling y'all I'm sorry we're gonna figure this out um but yeah, she did get the okay to start driving. Look at you. Oh my gosh, I feel horrible. I don't even know if I can record. I'm so worried about it wiggling so much. This thing said it was gonna, it had like a stabilizer. I must not be doing it correctly. Because it looks like I'm in an earthquake, doesn't it? 